And hey guys, Sword Blue here again, back to Minish Cap. In the last episode, we left off with getting the Earth Element, as you can see right here. We got ourselves the Earth Element, and now we are going to head back into the Minish Ward to tell the Elder about our duties in action. Let's go ahead and talk to him and figure out what we have to do next. So let's see here, I changed my controls that A is a sword and B is a shield just cause I think I could do um, better with A as my attack. Let's go talk to Elder with his <gasps> wall face. So you have found the Earth Element, you are blessed with much courage and strength for someone so young. For your conviction holds strong head to Mount Sanral, there you'll find a man named Mer Mallory. Among the image, there is no one able, able to repair his sword if you ask him or surely forge a broken pickery blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely, you are brave, but there are many evils in the world. Enter my little bedroom where we will have sex and have much fun. I mean, what? Lead through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great. Great, Elder. We are in your depth. You shall head to Mount Crenel at once. Let's just go ahead and head out there in his bedroom. Look at that cute little bed. Now, we're going to get a new item that we will need most. Let's go ahead and talk to go in this hut for the Minish. Green clothes and a, sti a mystical hat. Sir, by any chance would you be linked? The one who fought the Earth, found the Earth element. Surely you are. I heard many tales about you already. We just did one dungeon already. I am Be- Belair, researcher of anti antiquities. I am also well a bit of an inventor. You know, we won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here's something that might come in handy. You got a bomb bag! And it has 10 bombs. I could blow lots of stuff up. We needed that. Now let's go ahead and end this portal. And return back to normal size. Now we cross this little puddle. Now you see this here? You Every time you find one of those, you want to talk to it. I will explain this li much later on. Hold of the sacred powers. We grant you the power of win. Hmm, wow, it just blew up. Hey kid, it looks like the stone could be used. There's some strange symbols on the ground. Yes, of course. Why that must be. Why well, must fog is on this. Okay, I got another phone call. Be back. And back. Sorry about that. Um had parental emergency, I guess. Anyway, let's just head this way. Up north we can't do much until we can know how to swim, but you see here, I can't break it. Well, Time to go, oh, bugger. Time to go. Oh, for bloody hell. Big, big a boom. I will keep the bombs in hand. Okay, so A. Oh, we got five more bombs. Because obviously they come from stones. Who would have known? Let's just cut some grass and another heart and ruby. Again, you want to collect as much money as you can. We got a mushroom here, although we don't need to. This gu these guys just attack with your sword. Crap, give me one second. Okay, yeah, so I don't know the names of those guys as of now. Um, But we'll see them again, so I probably will put them on screen. Let's just go ahead and, and cowpull ourselves this way. We got a Minish Shrinking World. We can't, we could go see what he has. But I don't believe it's necessary, but I will check in case. Um Okay, yeah, so we can't oh I just dropped a bomb on him. That sucks. But we can't do anything with him yet, but we will later on once we go back to town. Again, those bombs can hurt you. And of course it gives me a heart after that. And, um, see this crack in the wall? We are gonna blow that up there, and we should not need our shield anymore. I think shield can deflect you from- no, it cannot. We got a chest with 20 mysterious stones. Yes, she sells. She sells. Those guys are fairly simple. Oh, we got another blue ruby. Again, collect as much money as you can. These guys, we cannot attack until we get the boomerang. So, we're just gonna run away. More stuff to blow up. I suggest blowing up as much as you can because the more you blow up, the more you'll be happy. Again, that opens a path with more mysterious sh uh, sh shells, more bandits, 
I always like to kill these guys. They're quite entertaining to kill, and sometimes if they run away... Actually, I'll let some run away. They will bur burrow back inside the holes. Just go in this way. And we got some octopus, but octo rocks, but you shouldn't recognize this area. This is our home. Let's go ahead and hold our the grant win. More of that stone. You'll see them all over the maps. Let's go ahead and just skip these guys. Some shrubs we could cut through. I want to head back home though. Because we need money and we're going to steal. So this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So where's my room? Fun fact, you can actually go to bed and rest up in any bed. So this is your room. That makes it my room too, right? Hey, aren't you tired? Do you want to take a rest? You can take a rest and should heal all your hearts. But you can also see how Link sleeps with Elza right there. Elza's eyes just like, ugh. Get up! Hmm? Kind of funny how Link sleeps with Elza. Oh yeah, that was just what I needed to go back and fight. Let's go, Link. So that's one quick way to heal all your hearts, even though your bed's not made anymore, as you can see. But we're gonna head this way. We're gonna see Grandpappy or Daddy working. We're just gonna steal this 20 rubies. I'm sure you won't mind. This is important. We need for our quest. So it's like our emergency... It's my college funds. We are gonna head this way. Ignore these guys. Just wanna break all these drops, because when you break them, they're not going anyway. We can't do anything yet, we have to go back to the castle, but first, we are gonna blow this up here. Shield protect me! And we have a fairy fountain! We got a fairy, we'll push it help. Should be at the three hearts or so. Anyway, they are useful, so that will be there. Let's just come into town and see what the heck's happening. Huh? Pedophile coming through. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. See, I'm making stones. Pieces you can collect. Now, this is a new mechanic in the game. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but I'm sure it'll be good. Come on. Come on up and get your free kinstone back to all the kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on the incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right. Maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. You got a kinstone bag. Kinstone bag. Now you can carry kinstones with you. Press start to see the kinstone quest from that. Especially when we walk up someone and you see the icon. Thing two pieces to get can it's called kinstone fusion. If you get two kinstone pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come on your way. But I put kinstone pieces in your bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who really who's ready and willing to fuse will can will look like the right blah. So basically, you just press the L control and you can fuse. All this will allow um, many cool things to happen. So let's just go ahead and fuse, so also kids won't leave me alone. And you see we got one piece, let's just, oh. I forget that. Which one's A and which one's B? Let's just fuse it. Two pieces fit, don't fit together, maybe something good would happen. Pedophile. And you can see a magical portal unlocks a new level in our quest. Do, 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 do. There we go. Perfect fit, that means all that's gonna happen. Excuse me. Sorry for the quick cut there, um, I just want to check what I need to do. Um, we are going to go to that spot, as you can see, the map shows where it would be, but also, oh. I'm just gonna travel here quickly because it's right here. This was locked up. We got a piece of heart! Okay, so I'm fused with the, the old crazy guy. Um, always cut down trees because you never know what would be hidden among them. Anyway, I don't really want to fight you guys. But you could notice that our attacks are pretty lame. We just know it's for a strike. So what are we gonna do? Well, we are gonna go explore town. Hopefully we could go into this market here. And we should hopefully have the money for this bomb bag, uh, the bag here. 80 rubies for wallet. Sadly, I don't have the money. And it's not like to Link's Awakening Wink is steal. So we're gonna have to collect some more money, which sucks. We could go in the well, um, trying to take ways to get more money. We can't do that area yet. 
We need, we're gonna need that wall for sure. That's the thing. Anyway, if we cr come here where we're supposed to be, this guy is gonna be like blocking us. And he runs pretty fast. So it says, just because you have a sword and shield doesn't mean that you safe. I can't let you go until you know sword techniques. So, of course, we're gonna have to learn some new techniques. And if we try going down here, this dog's just blocking the way. So we obviously can't do much as of now, which sucks. But we are going to go down this way. And we're gonna find this little place here. And this cat house. I am Swiftblade, the finest swordsman in all Hyrule. If you train with me, I'll guarantee that you increase your school skills dramatically. So would you train here? Yes. I mean, please, Sensei. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. <gasps> First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Ha, very good. You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now propose your, pr pr uh, propose your body for demonstration. So basically, we're doing a demonstration this. Ha! This is what it looks like. Simple technique of a charge spin attack. That is the only way you can do a spin attack yourself. You cannot do like spin around and sword. So just hold, hold, and spin. Yes, fine work, your, your quick study. I will give you the tiger scroll. If you ever forget technique, you can always look at the scrolls. So basically, if we ever forget the techniques, go to the start menu, you can see what the scrolls says to do. So now we got the spin attack, we can exit. Um, I really want to get that wall lit because we will need it. We can always do the cuckoo catch here, lady. So. Two of them in 25 seconds, I believe she gives you money, so you just like sneak around, grab, and throw in the pin. Except I failed with that. And this golden one, it's a pain to catch, because he will run away from your hands. So I suggest grabbing this one, it's easy. And I think she gives you money. If she does, I'll be quite happy. And... Time's up, that's it. Thanks, here's your reward. Oh, she just gives you mysterious shells, and that's... You got 20 rubies. Doesn't that feel good? Oh, 20 rubies as well. Sweet. Now I can buy the big wallet. So let's go ahead and talk. Up. Oh, yes, blah, blah. This is also we can get your shield, because your shield can get stolen. But 20, 20 rubies for a big wallet, that's worth it. And... I also really want to get one and then I'm that is incredibly useful is the boomerang. How much is this though? 300 rubies. See, I can't afford it right now, but this is a, quite a weapon that you I suggest you do get. So, hopefully you can see me getting it. Anyway, I will end this video off with Well, I guess you could look around town, but it's not much. This is a game show here. That's this is a vacant house here, I believe. No, that's a vacant house. We can't do much though, but um, I will explore town a bit, probably in my free time, and but there should be nothing here of concern. The school that we allowed to skip, the mail rooms here. So let's just go ahead and show him your great spin attack. Yeah, that's the one. But these monsters are careful, so just watch us. He'll move out of the way, and we're allowed to continue on with the highlands. And first, I just wanted to do this. Take that, Fox! He usually gives you a good amount of rubies, but anyway, this is the end for today's episode. I will see you all next time on Legend Zelda. Bye!